Greetings, dear friends. Happy Monday to you. Here we are with our regular Monday check-in, our Mindful Motivation for Mindset Mastery session. So as you know, before we get into pulling cards, I use four different decks of cards to kind of set the tone to help us feel into the energies of the new week ahead. So last week we had an auspicious week where we had the new moon and the total solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. How did that feel for you? Did you get in touch with your grand intentions and ideas for moving forward? That's kind of what that vibe was about. And of course, moving into this week, we are influenced by the first quarter phase of the moon in the sign of Cancer, which arrives actually today. So interesting energies with this first quarter phases of the moon is where we actually start to take action and move forward on the intentions, on those desires, on those dreams, those goals, those ideas. So moving forward. However, the, the other parts of the energies to feel into, we've got, so the sun is in the sign of Aries. So we have this sort of water and fire, right? With Aries being the let's get up and get things done and, and, and start charging forward. And then the, the cancer influence is about really feeling into your emotions, into your wisdom of your heart and making the choices and the decisions and the actions based on how you feel on really tapping into your own emotional resilience. Now, the other piece that is affecting us is we are still in the Mercury retrograde. We are until the end of this month, but we are now over halfway through. We were half, I think it was exactly halfway on the 13th. So that was two days ago. So now when we get into this sort of second half of a Mercury retrograde, it's important to start taking action on the things that have come up. So what's come up for you emotionally since the beginning of April? And now maybe if we look at up-leveling that emotional resilience, before you communicate or ask or, or put into action something that you need or want, come into your heart. Take a deep breath. In fact, do that with me now. Put your hand on your heart and take a few deep breaths and then make sure, tap into your own, your own guidance system, it comes from your heart. So I really encourage you to tap into that energy. If anything that I say on these sessions confuse you or discombobulate you or you need some more guidance or support, just put it in the comments below or message me directly. These ideas about this mindset mant mastery and being mindful it's about really tapping into your inner authority to actually really acknowledging and appreciating how you're wired and how you navigate the choices and the decisions and the things that you come up, that you connect with or that you contact with, you know, like when we're, when we're moving forward on a project, we can actually hit obstacles and blocks. Sometimes they're inner and sometimes they're outer. So this is a time to really feel into your harmonious best way forward, if that makes sense. Like I said, if you need any, any support or guidance in these areas, let me know. So now we're going to, to tap into the wisdom of my first deck of cards is the letting go guidance system. So you see, when I'm talking about moving forward, tapping into the wisdom of your, your intuition and your intuition, your inner wisdom, your heart, um, there will be yebats come up or little pieces of resistance or things that maybe come up and say, oh, no, I can't do that because of this. So that's why I like to start us off with what can we face? What can we face up to? What can we let go of in order to really connect with the depths of who we are, to really come in touch, in contact with our essence, with our uniqueness, with our talents, our gifts. That's really what this is all about, right? So take a nice deep breath. Let's see what comes up for us for letting go. Perfect. The card that's come up for us this time is insecurity. Where do you second guess 
or feel like, oh, I have to do things in a certain way because things will fall apart or I'm not safe or, I, right? So it's about seeing where do you feel a sense of insecurity? Are you trying to prove something to someone? Are you trying to be something who you're not? I just said that about tapping into the truth of who you are, your inner wisdom. Where does insecurity derail you or take you off course? Or maybe even have you believing that you cannot achieve or do something. Just see and how, how that shows up and can you let it go? Okay, so now taking another nice deep breath, we're going to take one tarot card and then as usual, we'll go to the Healing with the Angels cards and take three of those before wrapping it up with one of my Liberate Your Inner Truth cards. Oh, this is great. Look at that. It's the moon. I like that. So the moon, and actually that's a beautiful accompaniment to the idea of letting go of insecurity. You see, when the moon comes up, it's a little reminder to flow into your intuitive nature. I also love the fact that that came up because the ruler of cancer, the sign of cancer, which is where this first quarter phase of the moon is in, or first quarter phase, yeah, first quarter phase of the moon is in the sign of cancer and the moon is the ruler of cancer. So it's really encouraging us to get in touch with the depths of our own emotional guidance. And also the other part that I like to think of when I see the moon in the tarot card is to be aware that those things which you may think are obstacles or blocks or fears, right? This idea of insecurity may actually not be. It may be that you're exaggerating it or blowing it out of proportion in some way. So that's kind of the two pieces of that guidance that I feel it's an important part. And remember, this week we're focusing on up-leveling our emotional resilience. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to do our three Healing with the Angels cards. See what guidance comes up for us this week on this. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, these are really powerful cards. So the first one is intention. So isn't that perfect? So I said that last week we were setting intentions. Now we're starting to, to move with them, to, to actually follow the action steps and, and actually move forward with them. And it's this whole, since that total solar eclipse, the whole sort of up-leveled paradigm now is spiritual growth. It's about really finding your sense of meaning, your sense of flow. How is the, the, the guidance flowing through you and are you following it? Are you using your intentions? And this is perfect too, is the new beginning. New beginnings is all about really allowing that energy to be your best guidance. And actually recognize and acknowledge that everything is flowing through you and that it is, it's about flow. That's, that's the cancer um, influences, the flowing, the, the water, the, the tapping into your, your feelings and actually allowing yourself to just feel into that. You've heard me say this question before. How do I feel about myself here? How do I feel about myself when I'm saying yes to this opportunity, this project, this idea? or no. Yes and no. These are, are your choices. You get to always choose. Is the this way forward, this, this mindset, these dialogues that I'm listening to or telling to go and sit in the corner, are they aligning with that most auspicious, most powerful, most aligned aspects of me? And of course, there's no right and wrong questions. It's about being willing to yourself to show up and ask those questions. How do I feel about myself? Because we want to feel confident. We want to feel authentic. We want to feel aligned. We want to feel excited, in flow, harmonious, connected with our own true self. So take a nice deep breath. This could be the big beginning for you. 
And now, we, before I send you off to this beautiful week ahead, I'm just going to pull one of my Liberate Your Inner Truth cards. Let's see what which card's going to come up to seal the energy of what's coming up here. Cards and, oh, this is lovely. This is a nice one to, to keep feeling into. It's I am soothing. You are soothing. See, and that really f speaks to that idea of emotional resilience is actually coming into that self-soothing. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me read this out to you. To cultivate calm, tranquil and soothing energy, I regularly place both hands over my heart and seek within. I trust my heart. It knows what I need. Isn't that perfect? That's the perfect way to wrap up the guidance for this week. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. I'll be back again with you next week. Much love to you.